What's going on, everybody? And in this video, we're providing a state of the market in stock picks for December 20, 2022. So that sounds like something you're interested in. Consider subscribing as we do provide daily and weekly updates to get you prepared for the day and the week ahead in this glorious market. So today was a flat day, as expected. Uh, the, the markets are not really going to do a whole lot. Again, the volume is quite depleted. Uh, we are kind of getting ready to set up for earnings, uh, but we have to get through the holidays. And this is normal. Typically, again, around this time, we're going to have low volume. I'm not going to really get a lot of moves. You might get one big explosive move and that'll pretty much be it for the day. Seen that a lot this year in general, but you're going to see more of it again over the next couple of days, especially more so with tailing into the back end of the week. Uh, you, that, that is what you're going to see. Now, now being said, uh, tomorrow is a big day in terms of kind of feeding into the thesis that I've been building to this point. Uh, we do have uh, FedEx earnings tomorrow after close. It's going to be worth watching to see what happens. Last time they uh, essentially came out with earnings uh, was the warning shot before everything else essentially went to crap. So being said, they are tomorrow. We want to see what happens with FedEx tomorrow. Again, they pulled the guidance. They were not expecting things to be good. So now it'll be interesting to see what actually happens uh, moving forward. Um, and then we do have core PCE on Friday. Uh, again, then um, we will really kind of see that will kind of give us, uh, they'll probably give us some movement. I don't see it being big and pivotal. And then we have to also understand that on Monday, the market is closed. So again, you're not really going to see a lot of movement or too crazy of movements uh, until um, until after the fact. So we got to see, well, again, what happens moving forward from here. But but nonetheless, it's going to be uh, we'll see what we got. We can look at the technicals and kind of go from there. Again, we've been slowly kind of drifting off even today. Uh Again, the bleed out, it wasn't even that much today. I, I still think we can get down to uh, that 37, 36. Um, again, absolutely just no pop, um, especially from the guidance from Powell. Uh, people are just not expecting much in the next coming year. Actually looking at things getting a lot worse, especially because the Fed is projecting uh, essentially unemployment numbers to go up a lot more than they already have. Uh, so essentially all this whole thesis that was built up to this point about a pivot and everything was kind of was also kind of guided by the fed and they them kind of seeing originally that uh things were going to get better there was going to be a soft landing uh but now it's just over the past month month and a half two months the fed have just been nope things are going to get bad expect things to be bad uh and then try to sprinkle a little bit of hopium in there so your soul isn't crushed too bad <laughs> so uh being said uh moving forward Again, tomorrow, what I'm really looking at is some sort of pop, which I think we could potentially get up to the 39.20 uh, is really what I'm looking at for short. Uh, but again, there hasn't been absolutely no volume, no buy, buying nor selling, to be honest, uh, enough momentum to push us up. So it could happen this week. So that's what I'm really kind of watching is just waiting for that short. I didn't take any trades today. I just watched uh, briefly on and off to just see how the market was doing, but obviously did not do much today. Again, don't expect much out of the market for the next two weeks. So uh, the dollar, again, still holding uh, bulls, right? You want this to not break back over five. Bears, you want this to break back over five. Um, bulls, if you can break 102, that would be a really big breakout, but I don't see that happening. Um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, again, uh, a lot of drama around Binance. Uh, hopefully, there is no actual rumors. None of it's actually true. Uh, if something does come up, Binance, I think that can, can almost completely cripple uh, the crypto sector even more so than it already is. Uh, again, it's been holding roughly very well around those the 16K mark. Uh, we get Binance news. I think this thing could easily sell into the tens uh, at that point. So, Give us one of these massive drops again i think it easily happens so be mindful of that tesla continuing to sell off um it's it's roughly holding essentially the 150. i uh, did hit a low of 145 today uh that's good to see it actually holding but um uh, the bad thing is is that um 
something needs to change in Tesla. I don't know if it's Elon's continuing to sell. That's why it continues to sell as low as it has. Uh, but if for whatever reason we do crater, this thing could come down even more so. So again, I think if uh, the thesis that I have playing out, it's all about the timing for that. If for some reason something does happen, uh, you could still, again, see another 15, 20% decrease to the downside, if not more, uh, or even less. So it really just depends. Again, we are in a living for, through a very historical time. After have to understand we went through a pandemic, very historical, printed 40% of the money supply. This is very, uh, there might be similarities into what we're going through with other events in the past. We have to understand it's a very unique situation that we are in. Um, as all history has taught us, right, that every every situation is different in its own right. So uh, we are, I think, still haven't seen the worst of it just yet. Uh, that will occur, I think, in the first half of next year. And then from that point, I think we could potentially see a bottom, uh, whatever that brings. We don't know how, th how events will unfold and how things will play out. But when they do, um, expect it to get really bad. And then we should start to see a pivot before it's actually officially a pivot from the fed so so that's what i'm looking for there tesla again you want it to hold the 150 the more it holds here the more i start to begin to think that this thing could start running again we're, we're just about two weeks away from the earnings mode uh so that's one thing i really want to watch and be mindful of because if the thing starts ripping back up um you definitely want to be on there especially on this one's been beaten down so bad i think it can um it can make a lot of headroom so i definitely want to keep an eye on tesla apple uh, continue to sell off really heavy today. Um, hit this next zone, the 130, uh, which is interesting. It, it broke that downward pattern. So this thing could hit pretty low, 128 potentially or 129. Um, again, this brings 129. I think the rest of the market is going to sell off even more. So just be careful of that. Though I do think uh, Apple could pivot and, and start ripping up pretty quickly. So that's also something I want to be mindful of and be watching. Uh, moving forward, uh, BA, again, still just kind of stagnating in that one spot. It really hasn't done too much. Again, you don't want to break him the 170. Uh, I can see a lot of sell pressure does break 170. Uh, but it's been a pain to get past essentially the 189. Uh, but again, it's very overextended. So we're just kind of waiting for that to kind of uh, lose momentum and kind of turn over. So the same with the banks. The banks are the same way. Banks look like they want to turn over. Uh, they look like they broke and they retested. Uh, if, again, JPM can't hold those 130, uh, this thing, I think, can go much lower. So we got to be mindful of that. Uh, GS, uh, same thing. It's already broken and starting to sell. So kind of really watching this 120 or 328 mark. Uh, if it does break below there, uh, could get even lower. You got some big, uh, you got a little speed, a couple of speed bumps, but uh, it could get all the way down to the 284. So kind of watching that as well. Uh, BAC, again, it hasn't recovered since the comments. I think this thing can still get down to 29. Uh, so just watch that there. Again, I'm not making these videos uh, too long. There's not, there's no need to make these videos too long. Uh, unless something dramatically changes tomorrow, we should have more uh, in-depth discussion about what's going on with FedEx as we get uh, earnings there, uh, kind of dissect that and what we could potentially see for 2023 is important right now. The next two weeks are kind of just setting up for 2023. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that's what we're aiming for. That's what we're shooting for, uh, trying to look for the different industries that we might want to take advantage of while going into 2023. Again, value and banks have been uh, very strong over this past uh, year. Uh, but you have to also understand when big tech does flip, it's going to be massive. Uh, so just be mindful of that. And if there is any sort of pivot, again, yes, we just got over Powell. Uh, the whole thought about a pivot is kind of, uh, is, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll make a lot of people very nauseous at this point, but there could be a potential pivot just because they're projecting that doesn't mean it can't change. Uh, but if there is discussion of a pivot, you can guarantee that big tech will start ripping. Uh, it is continuing to take a massive beating. Just be mindful of that. So, Again, something I really want to watch uh, moving forward. But but nonetheless, if you made this far, I do appreciate you. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.